Hello friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. It is time for another weekend reading vlog. Yay! I am at work. Little dude is sleeping. I'm gonna sit down and read for a few minutes and answer some comments for the video I posted this morning. I am trying to think of what plans I have this weekend and I'm not coming up with much. <laughs> I know I have some errands to run today. I need to get over to church and prep for Sunday. I would like to do some chair shopping this weekend. It is my goal by the end of May to have a big comfy chair in my library room. So I'm going to start looking this weekend, possibly purchase one. So I'll bring you along to see what I can find in that department. As far as reading, I am reading A Vow So Bold and Deadly. I'm about halfway through right now, so I should be able to finish this either tonight or tomorrow. Um, Sunday is our first conversation about mere Christianity, so I'll be catching up. Um, I'll be reading through the first part of that. I've already started, so I just have to finish a couple chapters. And I... What else am I reading this weekend? Yesterday, I listened to the whole Bridgerton book two by Julia Quinn. It was called The Viscount Who Loved Me. So I downloaded the, or I borrowed the third one from Hoopla, which might get read a little bit this weekend. I'm spending some time today updating a to-do list for this week. I finished last week's to-do list completely. Yes. <laughs> so I'm making a, a new list for this weekend uh, and into next week to see, get some things done. Um, I planted some plants in my garden the other day, so I'll take you out and show you that later. It's supposed to rain a lot this afternoon, which is good. Hopefully those tomatoes will get growing, putting their roots down deep. Um, I've only cleared out half the garden, so I need to clear out the other half and get some more plants. So possibly a farmer's market in the morning to get some more plant starters, seedlings, whatever they're called. Yeah, all that. <laughs> So it just went from, I'm not sure what I'm doing this weekend to a whole list of things that I'd like to do this weekend, <laughs> but I will be bringing you along for the journey. But as for now, I'm going to answer a few more comments and then get reading this while little man is sleeping. I'll check in later today and let you know how it's going, what I'm up to. So I'm done with work for the day and I just picked up my books from the library. I just wanted to show you because I'm so excited about these books. First of all, I have the Keepsake, Sist Keepsake Sisters by Lori Wilde. Um, every month I ask my $8 patrons to recommend a book for me and I put them in a jar and pick one out. <laughs> and whatever I get, I have to read during that month. And for May, the book that was recommended is The Keepsake Sisters. So I had to put this on hold because I had never heard of it. I don't really know much about this or what it's about. She told me um, when she recommended it, Anna couldn't believe her eyes. She opened the front door of her home in Texas to see a woman physically like her in every way. And in her hands, the stranger held a familiar looking keepsake baby bracelet. It was unbelievable. She had an identical twin, one that she never knew about. So fun story, unknown identical twin. Then three of these are from my most anticipated most anticipated spring books. So this one I'm so pumped for, Pride and Premeditation, which is a Jane Austen murder mystery based on Pride and Prejudice. So Lizzie Bennet, I think, is going to become a detective in some way. I have a World War II last bookshop in London, Madeline Martin. This is about a bookshop that never closed down. A woman comes to work at the bookshop. It's not quite what she expected because the war breaks out, um, but she kind of the bookshop becomes a place of community in the midst of a war. So love that idea. And of course, another World War II by an author that I want to read this year, Pam Jenoff, The Woman with the Blue Star. I am really excited for this one as well. And actually, I was approved for this one on NetGalley. So if I can read this one, it's not quite as long as I expected. But if I can read this one, I also would knock off another NetGalley book, which is very cool. 
So I'm really excited to get three of my anticipated books have come in. Still others I'm waiting for. And then Amanda recently read this, The Length of a String by Elissa Brent Wiseman. This is a middle grade slash YA. It was housed in my library on the tween shelf. So it's like the higher end of middle grade, maybe. Amani knows exactly what she wants as her big bat mitzvah gift to find her birth parents. Oh yeah, so it's about a black girl adopted by a Jewish family, I think. She loves her family and her Jewish community in Baltimore, but she has always wondered where she came from, especially since she's black and almost everyone she knows is white. And then her mom's grandmother, Imani's great grandma, Anna, passes away and Imani discovers an old journal among her books. It's Anna's diary from 1941. So it has that tie. It's a like modern day, but with a tie back to World War II the year she was 12 and fled Nazi occupied Luxembourg alone, sent by her parents to seek refuge in Brooklyn, New York. Anna's diary records her journey to America and her new life with an adopted family of her own. And as Imani reads the diary, she begins to see her family and her place in it in a whole new way. So good. Amanda said that it was fabulous. And so I'm really excited to read that one. I have a library haul video that I've already filmed. Uh, so you can just put these ones in with that library hall. I'm, I'm probably not going to add these ones on to that, but yeah, now I have a ton of library books checked out and we'll see what gets read in May. I don't know, but I'm really excited for all of these. So maybe all of them, who knows? Now I'm going to the Cairo and to figure out what I want for lunch and then get home before the rain starts. It's supposed to rain all afternoon evening. So, uh, yeah, I need to quickly try to finish my errands before the rain comes. I just realized how tired I look. And maybe that's because I fell asleep. <laughs> I was listening to An Offer from a Gentleman, the third book in the Bridgerton series. And I realized I have to go back maybe three chapters because I fell asleep while I was listening. Now I realize my makeup is a little smeared, but it is what it is. So I stopped listening to that for a little while and chatted with my group for Mere Christianity on Sunday and also finished reading book one, all the things that we're going to talk about on Sunday, the, the sections that we're going to talk about on Sunday. I actually, it's only 30 pages. I would love to go back and reread those first five chapters just so that I fully understand it. There's a lot to dig into in that book. A lot of very logical explanations for what he's talking about. I really think it's easy to read, but it definitely makes you think. So I would like to reread it. I actually think I saw it on Hoopla. I may listen and read at the same time. And the second read through, I want to take a little bit more notes. So I'm going to do that, but not tonight. Uh, right now, I'm going to pick up a vow. So do Bold and Deadly, again, I did read a little bit at work. I would love to be able to finish this tonight. I would, oh, I would love to do that. Um, I really can't tell you anything <laughs> about the plot of this one because it is the third in the series. So the first one is A Curse So Dark and Lonely, and it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And in this one, we follow... And then in the second book, which was A Heart So Fierce and Broken, we kind of follow one of the main characters from the first book. We get a little bit more of his story and we follow him more closely in the second book. And we meet a few other characters as well. And then in this one, third one, it's kind of all coming back together. It's very convoluted and vague. I apologize, but... I I think it's fun. There's the the one main character that we meet at the beginning, the beast type character. He gets under my skin like he's kind of annoying to me, but the beauty kind of the beauty stereotype, the beauty character from the first book, I really love her. Harper is her name, and I love her so much. Um and right now we're following Ren and Harper, those two characters. Um we haven't we've kind of no, we're following all four, really, from the first two books. Um, yeah, so I can't really tell you what's going on, but it is coming to a head. Like, it's coming to the climax of the whole thing. They're all fighting for the same thing, but they don't realize it yet. And there's a bit of the YA angst in here that I just kind of don't care for. But it's all these young people that are kind of ruling their land, <laughs> which is slightly unrealistic, but
but it's a fantasy. It's fun and I'm really enjoying it. So I I have maybe 237, three, 150 pages, 170 pages to go, but they go quick. They go very quick. I mean, it's double spaced and it's not very tight, tightly packed in there. It's not super dense. So I'm going to read this for a little bit and then stop and have dinner and then come back to this maybe. I have not yet made my to-do list for the weekend. I might just do that in the morning. It is, it's been raining off and on, which is why I fell asleep right here. <laughs> I've barely moved off the couch. I should probably get up and move around a little bit. Uh, I did have Chick-fil-A for lunch. You can see my lemonade cup here. It's just about gone, but yeah, not very exciting update, but I'll check in later. Well, I had a very relaxing evening. <laughs> I didn't really do very much of anything. While I was eating dinner, I was watching Kim's Convenience, which is kind of a family sitcom about this Korean family who owns a convenience store. And I've been loving it. <laughs> and I like that they're only about 20 minutes long and they're funny and heartfelt. I just really am enjoying that. Uh, but then tonight I did finish A Vow So Bold and Deadly. And I will just say that I found it to be a very satisfying end to this trilogy. I thought that that the climax was really good and intense. I loved the different characters that we met along the way and how it all wrapped up. I was very satisfied. Very satisfied. So yay for finishing a, a series. Yay. Um, so it's like 10 o'clock. It's not super late, but I'm tired. So <laughs> I'm going to go to bed and on my Kindle app on my phone, I'm working on reading The Hat Makers, which is another NetGalley book. So I'm going to read that for just a little bit until I fall asleep. But I made my to-do list for tomorrow and Sunday, and it's long. I, I thought I was going to give myself a nice, easy to-do list for this weekend, but then I just kept thinking of things that I wanted to get done. Some of them are very short and easy, like cut up a pineapple <laughs> that's sitting on my kitchen table. And some things are things that I do every weekend, like my laundry. So we'll see. I'll probably do some timer cleaning in the morning, like read for 15, clean for 15, which is like reading sprints when I go live. Um, actually, is this a weekend for a live? It is a weekend for a live. I guess I'm going live as well. I better get, I better get scheduling that. <laughs> I know I'm going live on Sunday for Mere Christianity. I totally forgot about reading sprints. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow night. Well, you'll know because it'll have already happened. Stink. I just remember that right now. All right. Well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Good morning. I'm coming at you with my crazy haired self. It is 1015 on Saturday. I am about to do a workout video. Today is a freestyle flow it's called so it's like yoga and balance and it's still a little bit sweaty but it's also a stretchy one which is perfect so I'm gonna do that and hopefully go for a walk later too because it's a beautiful day outside but I've already done a couple loads of laundry I cleaned off the kitchen table I finished listening to an offer from a gentleman book three in the Bridgerton series I'm on a roll <laughs> I can't get enough uh, so I finished two books this weekend already. That's pretty fabulous. <laughs> Considering I just started this one yesterday. Yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed. <laughs> I love it. It's just hitting the spot for me right now, but I'm taking a break. I'm not even going to look for the fourth one because I have a lot of other things I need to read this weekend. I'm doing a buddy read of, it's a book called The Telling Touch with three wonderful ladies, Kate, Howe, and... Jessica and Elizabeth, um, both I know from Instagram and the comments on my channel. And so I'm going to work on that buddy read. But I also want to listen and read again, Mere Christianity. I think I already mentioned that. I did find that on Hoopla and borrowed it this morning. But I want to be out and about today too. So I do need to start another audiobook now that I'm thinking about it. Because <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going chair shopping and I need to have an audiobook to listen to while I'm running errands and stuff. So I'll decide what that's going to be later. But I'm going to work out now and then have a shower and get ready for the day. I have one more video I need to edit. I would like to put up a thumbnail for a live tonight, which I totally forgot to do. So it'll be kind of spur of the moment, but that's okay. Who comes, comes. And yeah, it's just going to be a pretty chill day. I'm really proud of myself for getting some stuff done already. And it's only 10.15. 
like finishing a book and doing five things off of my to-do list. Yay. Uh, I like to put very simple things on my to-do list because I feel motivated by checking that little, <laughs> checking that little box. Uh, it keeps me motivated to get some of the harder things done. So one of the things I'd like to do today is clean off cobwebs for my porch and wash the glass door that's in the front of my house and the window that's in the front of my house because I was noticing the other day that they're pretty dirty. <laughs> and like, like I said, chair shopping. I'm almost done with laundry. And yeah, just some stuff, just stuff around the house. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what the day brings and what I end up picking up. But right now I'm going to do my workout video. So I will check back in with you later. Well, I just stopped at a farmer's market and it's like 1150. So I was right at the very end. They close at noon and the two farms that were there did not have any zucchini or cucumber. And those are the two things I'm looking for or peppers. They just had tomatoes. One had yellow squash, but I don't like yellow squash. One, and they had a bunch of herbs, but I don't need herbs right now. I just wanted zucchini and cucumber and peppers. So no luck in that department. Now I am gonna figure out where I'm gonna go chair shopping. A couple furniture stores possibly, and we have this place called The Dump, which is a, a furniture store, but I'm not sure when they're open. They have won wonky hours, so I need to see if they're open. Uh, but yeah, time to go look for some chairs, yay! And I've decided not to start another audiobook. I'm listening to podcasts today. Get try to get caught up on some of my podcast listening. So I'm gonna listen to podcasts while I'm out and about. I just finished listening to an episode of the Popcast, which is so much fun. Knox and Jamie are a hoot. <laughs> Well, I went to four different furniture stores today and did not buy a chair. <laughs> I'm kind of sad, but none of them really jumped out to me. There was this one that I really did like, but I didn't love the material of it. And you gotta love all of it. Hold on, it's gonna get dark. I gotta turn the light on over here. Bum, ba -da -bum. Okay. So I'm at church now to get stuff set up for the kids on Sunday. But yeah, I'm a little bummed. I mean, what did I expect that I was gonna get a chair today? I mean, kind of, I was hopeful. Ooh, left a light on in here. Um, but no, did not happen. So now, at least I looked and I got some good ideas. Isn't it cute in here? <laughs> this is our kids' room. And then we have this long area with tables and stuff down there as well. But um, I don't know what I was gonna say. Yeah, no chair, that's okay. I'm gonna get some stuff all set for tomorrow and then go home and do some reading and finish up some stuff off my to-do list. I'm still crossing off chair shopping from the to-do list because I did, I went to four different stores, so. There's that. <laughs> Let me get this stuff done at church. I will check in later. Hi friends. I just got done doing a live, which I love so much. I love doing reading sprints and chatting with everybody. It's always so much fun. And tonight I did a little book battle type of a thing at the beginning where I had some books and I had everybody who was at the live help me decide what to read. So I still have these two on my May TBR, like they will get read this month, The Keepsake Sisters and Sourdough, but they did not win out in the battle tonight. So I did read a chapter or so, like one sprint worth in, oh my goodness. I did read one sprint worth of Remember by Lisa Genova. This is a nonfiction. It is going to be so fascinating and so interesting just about how the brain works and how memory how memories are created in your brain and the hippocampus. Like I'm going to learn so much about the brain. Ah, I'm so excited. But I found the first chapter and the introduction to be very readable, very accessible. I'm fascinated and I'm so interested to continue reading that one. So that's definitely going to get read this month. Then I spent another sprint reading Pride and Premeditation by 
Terza Price. This is obviously has connection to Pride and Prejudice, but it is not a retelling, I wouldn't say. Uh, well, I guess technically it could be a retelling, but it's not a retelling of the plot of Pride and Prejudice. It's just another story with all the characters from Pride and Prejudice, but a totally different story. So in this one, Mr. Bennett is a lawyer, a barrister, if you will. <laughs> He's a barrister and owns his own company, Longborn and Sons, I think it's called. Mr. Collins works with Mr. Bennett and is just as annoying and sketchy as he is in the in in Pride and Prejudice. Um, Miss Lizzie, Lizzie Bennett works with her dad or helps her dad out in the office. Charlotte Lucas is the secretary at the office. And the murder mystery, which I just barely learned about in that one little sprint that I read this one, is that Charles Bingley murdered Mr. Hurst, who is Charles's brother-in-law, Mr. Bingley's brother-in-law. So I'm excited because Lizzie is going to try to prove that Mr. Bingley didn't do it. She doesn't know that yet. She just learned about this case that someone was murdered and that's who did it. So I'm excited to see when Darcy comes into the picture and, and how it all is going to play out. So I think the characters have the same personalities and traits as they do in Pride and Prejudice, but the storyline is totally different. I'm totally here for that. Totally, totally, totally. But the book that I spent a couple sprints, I think three different sprints, I read Where the Lost Wander by Amy Harmon. I'm going to love this book so much. I'm going to love Amy Harmon so much. I'm so excited. So like I've said before, this is an Oregon Trail retelling. It reminds me, not Oregon Trail retelling, it's a story that takes place. This family is headed west on the Oregon Trail. And one of the one of the men assisting them or bringing mules along and kind of helping out the guide is a half Pawnee boy. He's not a boy. He's like 20, 21 young man, John, John, his name is John. And Naomi, our main character, our main girl character that we're following, she's just 20. And she got married very young. Well, they all got married young, right? That back in the day, she got married young. And within a couple months later, her husband passes away. So he's not with them. She's back with her family traveling west. His family is also traveling west. It was her husband's desire to go west. And he's the one that convinced everybody that they needed to do this. So it's almost like if someone wrote a novel about the game Oregon Trail that I used to play when I was in middle school. Ah, so fun. I'm like, they've had to cross a river and do you swim across? Are we going to swim across and float the can the wagons or, uh, or are we going to go on the ferry? I like ugh, decisions that have to be made and how they're cooking outside. Like the whole thing is just bringing up that game for me. And it's so much fun to remember the decisions that you had to make in that game, but this is real life. People had to make these decisions decisions, and make this very precarious journey a lot. A lot of people made that journey. And so, but I've never read about it in a fictionalized form. So I'm very excited to be reading that one. Yeah, I read it for three or four of the sprints tonight because it just was so good. So yeah, that was a fun live and it was a really good day. Uh, the only thing that would have made today better is if I found a chair because I just had to sit in this chair and it's not the most comfortable. It would have been awesome to be sitting in a big comfy chair, but nothing really jumped out to me. So that's okay. I will keep waiting, keep looking. People mentioned Wayfair. Just, I haven't really looked online at all. So I need to look online at a couple different places. Overstock might have chairs. I don't know. It's just hard to know dimensions because I want it to be taller than my head so that I can like lay my head back on it and be like cozied right up in it. We'll see. But I am going to, I just printed out the rest of my study guide for Mere Christianity and I'm going to look at that a little bit tonight and look over the lesson for church tomorrow and then I'm going to bed. So I will chat with you tomorrow.
feel like it's tradition now to start off Sundays from the car, either before or after church. And it's after church and it's hot. I should probably open the windows. It's a beautiful day here. And happy Mother's Day to all my friends who mother in lots of different ways. Um, we had a professional photographer come to church today. Look how nice that turned out. I'm so happy. I'm sending it to my mom. <laughs> I don't think I've had a picture taken of myself like that in a really long time. So happy Mother's Day to my mom. <laughs> Here's a picture of your favorite daughter, right? Just kidding, but not kidding, right? Oh golly, it's a little windy. Um, I did the bright nails, yay. And I did have my orange shirt on under here over my dress. So the orange nails looked awesome with it. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I just got a text. Um, so I'm headed home now to film a couple videos, have some lunch, and then review Mere Christianity until, <laughs> until it's time for the book club chat, live discussion, whatever it's called. And then I'm going out for a walk with my friend and see her little baby. I'm very excited. Her foster baby. I can't wait to see them. It's been way too long since I've hung out with my friend. So I'm very excited for that. So it should be a beautiful day. I'm not sure I'm going to get any reading done today other than looking over mere Christianity a little bit more preparing for that discussion. But I am excited. It was a wonderful day at church. I actually didn't end up having to teach. Uh, so I was prepared just in case, but I had someone else teach. And so I was able to go up to service. I'm down with the kids more often than not. So it was really nice to be in service today and worship and sing without having to be on the team. I'm going to sniffle, but yeah. So happy Sunday. I will take you along with whatever I do, but now it's time to go home and film so that I can eat lunch. Yum. Oh, I just got done with an awesome, awesome conversation about mere Christianity on the live. I'm so thankful to be friends with such smart people and to be able to discuss this book with other people really means a lot to me. It's a lot of fun. We had good people like talking in the comments and I was joined by four awesome creators, Kelly from Cozy Reader Kelly, Amy Bowman, Becca from Hicks Picks Books and Danny from Spinelli Speaks who are just lovely, lovely ladies. I hope that if you are reading along with Mere Christianity and you didn't get to join us live, that you will watch that, uh, watch that live on my channel because it was really good. So I am now, I'm waiting to hear back from my mom because I've texted her again today because, um, you know, Mother's Day, talk to my mom all day. And I'm headed out to see my friend Leah, who is a foster mom and she's got a baby right now. So I'm going to go see the baby and go for a little walk with her and then hopefully get on a Zoom with my mom and some of my siblings tonight. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So I've done this much reading today. Well, that's not true. I reread or listened to and read at the same time um, book one of Mere Christianity just so it was fresh in my mind for our discussion tonight. So I did read a little bit of that, but that's it. <laughs> no fun reading. I mean, that's fun too, but no fiction reading has happened today. So I'm, I'm not sure that any will because it's just not how the day's planning panning out. I did film three things today, one for my patrons and two for my channel. So now there's some editing happening in my future, which is probably what I'll work on tonight after the Zoom or if we don't end up Zooming with my mom, then I will work on, I will work on those that editing, including this weekend vlog. So lots of things to, to do. Now I have, I'll have this plus three other videos to edit. So I'll have four videos, which is basically like the next week and a half worth of videos already done, which is fantastic. I'm thrilled about that. So yeah, I'm going to go for a walk. It's like 75 degrees out right now at five o'clock, 530. So hopefully we get outside for a little bit. I'm very excited to see Leah. I haven't seen her in quite a while. So I will not show you the baby because you know, foster care, you know, it's not something that I'm going to do, but um, I'm just excited to go see her. And I'll probably check in one more time before the end of the day, just to see if I actually did get any reading done today or maybe not. All right. I'll talk to you later. Hello friends. It is now Monday afternoon and I just got done editing this video. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore on Saturday. <laughs> I try to get good use out of them before they all go in the wash. Anyways, I never closed out this video. I never ended up reading anything on Sunday and I didn't even work that much on editing because 
someone had told me in the comments about this restoration art channel. I will link it in the description. I got sucked in and I watched one or two of those videos of this guy restoring paintings and it was so fascinating. And having just read Big Lies in a Small Town where that was uh, Morgan's job, one of the characters, her job was to restore this big old painting uh, and, and it describes it in the book, but uh, I had never really seen it before. So I was just fascinated by this guy restoring artwork. And so I watched two different videos of that uh, last night instead of editing, <laughs> which is why this isn't going up until late. But I just wanted to close it out, say thanks again for hanging out with me for yet another weekend. Um, there wasn't as much reading on Sunday, but I did finish two books over the course of a Friday and Saturday. So it's still good. It's all good. <laughs> and I and I started a couple more during the live. Yeah, it just was a really nice weekend overall. Overall, a lovely, lovely weekend. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will definitely be talking to you in another video very soon. Bye.